the derivative function. Here is a very important question for you. It says, which of the following functions are not differentiable on at least one point in the domain x belongs to real numbers? So we have five examples. And let me tell you to start with, all of them are not differentiable at at least one point, right? So you need to figure out that point and give a reason. So think over it and write down your answer. Here are my suggestions. Well, you can stop the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions, right? So what I will do is, I will try to sketch a rough graph to explain my answer, right? A, f of x equals to 1 over x, right? So 1 over x can be drawn like what? So 1 over x is like this, right? Like this. You'll find it is discontinuous at x equals to 0. So at x equals to 0, the function is discontinuous. And therefore, you cannot draw a tangent there, right? It is not in its domain, right? So we say the function is discontinuous. And therefore, it, it is not differentiable at that point. So vertical asymptote is one thing which we observe here. So type of discontinuity is vertical asymptote. Right? So if we have a vertical asymptote, then at that point the function is not differentiable. So at x equals to 0, we have a vertical asymptote and that's a kind of discontinuity. Function is not differentiable. Let's look into the next function which is 1 over x square. Can you draw the graph for this one? So x square is, let's square this up. When you square this up, you'll get everything positive. It will be steeper, right, but positive, right? And the reason is same. At x equals to 0, we have this vertical asymptote, correct? So it is not differentiable, correct? Now the next function is kind of different. Let me simplify. So we have f of x equals to x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 1. So we can write this as x plus 1 over x plus 1 times x minus 1. Correct? Now you see x plus 1, x plus 1 can be cancelled out. But important thing here is, now let me write this as first 1 over x minus 1. The important thing here is that x is not equal to plus 1 or minus 1. So there are two types of discontinuities here, right? So we have two discontinuities. So at any discontinuity, we cannot draw a tangent, correct? Therefore, function is not differentiable at these two points where x is equals to plus 1 or minus 1, correct? If you draw this function, right? If you at all draw this function, then it will be, let me draw it here for you. So it has a discontinuity at plus 1 and at minus 1. So let me draw the discontinuity. So this is discontinuity, let us say, at these two points. So what we have here is, since these two cancel out, we have a hole here, right? So at minus 1, we have a hole, right? And at plus 1, we have a vertical asymptote. So we'll draw a vertical asymptote here at plus 1, correct? and a hole at minus 1, correct? So, so the function could be drawn approximately, I'm not giving any, but I'm just trying to show you how it should be looking like. It looks like 1 over x shifted 1 unit to the right. So it will be like this, right? Function will be kind of like this. Now here, but it has a hole here. So I'm leaving the gap here and drawing like this. So if I put x as 0, I get minus 1. So this point is minus 1 for me, right? So that is a kind of graph, but I have a hole here at minus 1. So I have two discontinuities. One at plus 1, that is a vertical asymptote, right? So this one is a vertical asymptote. And here we learn another type of a discontinuity, which is because of hole, which is because of this factor cancelling out. Do you see that this factor, x plus 1, leads to a hole? So whenever you have a common factor, we get a hole, and that is a discontinuity, and therefore we cannot have tangent there, and the function is 
not differentiable at this point. So that's the reason. Now let's look into D which is absolute X. If you sketch absolute X, what are you going to get? You'll get a corner at X equals to 0. Do you see that? So this corner at this point function is not differentiable. Since we don't know what can be the tangent here, there could be many, right? So at x equals to 1, oh sorry, x equals to 0, we have a discontinuity. You see, function is continuous. Still, it is not differentiable. That is a very good example, right? Why? Because there is a corner. So that is the reason. There is a corner. Now, here we have cube root function. If you try to sketch this function, what will you get? It's like square root here, but you know, you have cube root of negative numbers also. So it's kind of like this. I mean, not that sharp. It's going to go like this, right? Now, you will see that at x equals to 0, we can draw a tangent which is like a vertical line, right? So if we have a vertical tangent, right, if we have a vertical line as tangent, then what happens? What is its slope? Slope is undefined. Slope is undefined. Since the slope is undefined, we don't know what is the value. It's said to be not differentiable. So this is also not differentiable, right? So here we have seen that the function could be continuous and even then it may not be differentiable. So two examples which we saw are of a corner and the one with vertical asymptote. There are more examples to this. Radical exponents give rise to cusp, which are additional examples, correct? I hope this kind of sums it up for you. These are kind of examples where the function will not be differentiable, right? So keep this in mind. It's going to help you a lot. Thanks and all the best.